In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create custom GIFs for Instagram. You can create them from scratch or from a graphic that already exists. As you can see, I have a collection in my hub with tons of GIFs that I created for PicMonkey. I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to make them and how to make them searchable on Instagram. I'm gonna start off by creating a blank canvas and I'm just gonna use the default size. Once my canvas is opened up, I'm gonna head to the graphics on the left and there's tons to pick from and that you can work with, but for now I'm gonna be using social media callouts. You can find them under the social media tab. I'm going to start my creation process by picking a graphic that I like and opening it up nice and big on my canvas. Since I'll be creating a set of GIFs, I want to keep them all consistent as far as colors go. So what I'm gonna do now is open up a couple of circle solid graphics and make a little color palette. This part is completely optional. I like to customize my colors, but if you're happy with the ones you see, you can leave them. Working with a palette is great because you can move it around and remove it from your canvas and it's like it was never there. Every graphic in PicMonkey allows you to adjust the colors so you can bring in your palette and use the color picker to select the color you want to replace it with. I'm going to quickly speed through this process so we can get on with the gift making. All right, gift making tip number one. You don't wanna have a gift with a white background so make sure to head to edits, background color, and check off transparent. Gift making tip number two is to create multiple images. Gifts are all about stitching multiple images together to create an animation. So what I'm gonna do first is export the first design that I'm happy with and name it like new post one. Once I've exported that, I'm off to a good start. Now I'm gonna make some adjustments to create my animation. To give you an idea, this is the GIF I want to create, which means I need the word new to disappear for my second image. So I'm going to use a basic graphic and put it over the word new. And I'm going to use my color picker to make it match the background. That way, the word disappears. Now I'm going to export this image and name it like new post number two. Now you have the two images that are going to make up your GIF. Next up, you need a GIF maker. It could be a video software that stitches your images together or a free website like gifmaker.me. For this example, I'm gonna be heading to that website and uploading my images there. I like using this website for GIF making because it's pretty simple. You upload your images that you made in PicMonkey, then you can adjust the canvas size and the animation speed, then you just download your GIF. Now let's talk about how to get this GIF on Instagram. Step one is making sure you have a Giphy account. Not only do you need an account, but you need to make sure it is verified, which means you have a blue check mark next to your name. Becoming verified on Giphy is pretty easy. All you need to do is email their customer support and request it. Once you have a verified Giphy account, drag and drop your animation into the upload section then just type in your source URL and add tags. The tags are how people will be able to search and find the GIFs in Instagram. It may take a couple of days before you see your GIFs on Instagram, but if you follow all of these steps, you should see them there. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.